Show me what you have in stock. It'd be nice if somebody actually sold a silver sword somewhere, but so far we haven't found any. Steel sword, steel... Oh, no, there's a silver sword. Our current sword is absolute garbage, right? So I think it's worth... Oh, we don't... I don't quite have enough money. Let me... Okay. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Now, I know that this sword does have three empty slots on it for, like, putting in these sign intensity things. Chance to stun, chance to, see, to freeze. But I don't care that much about it because the sword's too weak at this point. So, I'm gonna sell that. Uh, and now we have plenty of money. So, now we can buy a new silver sword. Also, wait, what, what, what level can we use this at? 11. Okay, so we're still four levels off. That's gonna be a while. So I think it is worth it to buy a silver sword here. That's plus 70 damage. Jeez. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be important. We're gonna take that. Uh, what else can we do? Sell these trousers. I think that's it, right? This is a slightly better sword, but it requires level 28. Okay, and this is a much better... Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good now. That was a lot of money, but I think it's worth it. Oh, wait. Actually, let's repair our stuff, too. Let's repair our stuff, too. So, we're going to want to repair this armor that we just bought. And our shoes. And our axe. And all that stuff. Okay. Cool. Cool. So long. Now, inventory. Where is it? Finally! Finally, we've got an upgraded silver sword. Oh my gosh. We've been using the same default silver sword for ages. So that's good. That's plus 70 damage for uh it's like we're we're doubling our damage now <laughs> against monsters. And monsters are what is uh most difficult. So that's good. I'm happy now. I'm very happy. I'm glad we did that. Oh! Why the hell are you following me? Apparently we found him. Just happened to be going where you're going. And how the bloody hell do you know where I'm going? Mm, <laughs> I don't. Never said I knew where you were going. Just think we're going in the same direction. <laughs> nope. Okay, so apparently this is the thief. Just carefully follow them, but I'll just regularly follow them. I think. I guess he doesn't care that much because he's not turning around and telling us to stop. If he could walk a little bit faster, that would be great. Let me eat something in the meantime. Arms for the poor. Going here, huh? Ah, I see. Place that does performances. Holy moly, you're a scary one. Arms for the poor. Okay, he's going past everything. Whoa, he just dropped right down, huh? That person's got some problems. My, what a freak. Just follow him around. What was it happened to Foltis, I am tempted to just attack some of these guards just to see what'll happen. I did not like the Eternal Flame. I didn't before and I didn't now. And I'm glad I didn't accept that Eternal Flame guy that was like along the road. Didn't accept his job or whatever. Yeah, he, this guy really doesn't care that we're following him. Completely oblivious. Nosy bugger. Hmm? Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the Putrid Grove. 
That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? Mm, <laughs> me, God. <laughs> I am good at seeking a secret. Can't ever be sure. Um. No one. Yeah. Grab him! Smash the bugger! Oh. <laughs> oh! Okay. I guess we're punching them. I think we want their help, so I don't think I'm gonna take, pull out my weapon or anything. Ah! Yeah, it's not doing much, I must say. Let's punch this guy into the corner. There we go, there we go, there we go. This is gonna take a while like this. <laughs> Those big swings really don't do much. They can't hit anything. Okay, we all we took a hit. <laughs> you're saying kill him, but you didn't take out any weapons. If you really want to want to kill me, you gotta have some weapons with you. And it's not like I'm trying to kill you. Why are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I like how they all have the same fighting stance. In reality, they'd probably all have very different ways of fighting. They wouldn't all fight the exact same way, like this. All with the same exact boxing stance nonsense that they're doing. We're getting somewhere, but it's <laughs> slow going. Oh. Hey, come on now. I mean, I guess I could use Igni and like burn them, but. That would be cheating. I mean, we're already cheating by using uh, Quen, but. It's okay, it's four on one. Bonk him! We're just kind of damaging them all equally, which is not ideal. I want to get rid of one of them first. Guy's almost done. I just need to finish him off. Finish him off. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Next most weak is this guy in red. I'm trying to get to him. Oh, we took a hit. Oh, we got, oh no, let me out, let me out, let me out. Might be helpful to fight over here, actually, because they can only come at me in one direction. Good. All right, come on, get over here. Let's go. Come, come to my abode. 
I just pushed you into a corner. Get over here. I want them to be the ones backed in here. Ideally. Come on. Do they not know how to reach me? I guess they don't. Never fight a witcher. All right, now we're good. Oh, that really hurt. Jeez. They do a lot of damage with their punches or whatever. You'll never learn. Bonk. 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 Come on. We're getting there. Slowly, but surely. Next time this happens, I'm just gonna pull out my weapon. This is this is some slow going, I must say. Come on, just finish him off. Finish him off. There you go, jeez. Stop. Enough. I was just following orders. Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple answer. Where's the putrid grove? In... In Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows. Farrowed piglets. Weird See, password. Just gotta make the effort. Old sows, farrowed piglets. Okay then. Well, let me just steal all your stuff first and then I'll get going. I really don't think I'm gonna need any more alchemist powder. I kinda have enough of that stuff. Old sows, farrowed piglets. Well, let's head over there before I forget that. Yes, let's play. Yeah, let's play Burn the Witch. Yay! I agree. That sounds like a fun game. Didn't everyone play that game when they when they were growing up? Washed your hair lately. Oh, this is not where I want to be, is it? Alright, let's go. Open up. Who are you and what you want? <laughs> Can't you tell, freak? Yeah. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill everything. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know him. Gotta to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Old sows, pharaoh piglets. That's it. Old Unless they were wrong. Piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove. They could have easily given me the wrong password on purpose. Just to mess with me. But then we probably would have came back and beat him up again, so... I can't understand why they didn't. Okay, so now we're in. We have to meet with the King of Beggars. Is that the person? No, it's... That's not the person that was stealing the, uh... Why, why exactly are we meeting... <laughs> I forget, why exactly are we meeting with the King of Beggars? I know we're fine, trying to find Triss, but how's the King of Beggars have... Oh, well, I guess she's hanging out with them. I forgot why she was... Why we were... Why that was related. Just fine, without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the Temple Guard. True. They all want to find her and burn her. Geralt? Hey, Triss. It's a pretty mild reaction for See seeing us. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Oh, you knew I was coming here? Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? 
So what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? For a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxes. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. <laughs> if you say so. I've got plans, big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Let me guess. He's going to say, oh, you have to help me with my plans first before I can tell you any information. It's always the same thing, isn't it? Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. I see. The semblance of power don't interest me. So Radovid and his witch hunters and then the Eternal Flame, they both want to, they, uh, they both don't like witches. Hmm. You face the temple guard and witch hunters armed to the teeth, and all you've got's a gang of tramps and a handful of mages. I wouldn't bet a single crown on you. Nor would I. Not at the moment. But war shuffles the deck. In wartime, folks start to understand things. Start to wonder why magic's outlawed, even though it's so damn useful. Folk come to me knowing full well it's forbidden. You know why? Because they fear death by disease more than torture. Hmm. I'm so, I think what he's saying is that when when war comes to Novigrad, because the Nilfgaardians and Radovid are going to be fighting and all that stuff, that's going to end up creating an opportunity for him to take over or take power. I think that's what he's getting at. Someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because like I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Well, Six they're looking ago, to burn her at the stake, so... Oh! What? Madam you got cut off. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Yeah, she's... She's being hunted, I so... I you're in Novigrad on important business. It makes sense that important she's doing this. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. Apparently not. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Who might know more? Uh, well, I was hoping you would know who might know more, because we are not locals here. Okay, apparently we're just going to uh, continue to follow her as we chat. It's a waste of words. And she does whatever it is her business is. What are you doing here? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Magic incense? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. But they believed me. 
I need that package. That is very dumb of them to believe you. It must be on the canal bed. Like Why would somebody be carrying out a dead cat and then drop it in the sure water? Turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice cold filth? Yeah, have him grab it. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue. Okay, we're gonna go directly into the sewers just to go find the package? Alright. <laughs> I feel like if, since it was his job to get all the materials, he should have just, uh... <laughs> Jumped back in there and grabbed it himself, but okay. I guess I'll compensate by uh, stealing all his water. Bread? Yeah, I'll take bread too. And your and your egg. Where is it? There we go. Okay, down I go. Whee! Man, it's got to be terrible to have just a. Open hatch straight into the sewers. Probably smells terrible always. Ah! With drowners in it, nonetheless, too. Okay, it looks like Triss is coming with us. I didn't expect that. That stench. Stab him. Geralt really likes to say that specific line. That stench. Says that about everything. Should be an exit. Clue wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on his wall that will open a secret passage. A lever on his wall to open a secret passage, okay. Also, I just got a new saddle. Werewolf decoction. Alright, hold on. Let me take a look at some things. What is werewolf decoction? Because we were having a trouble with that werewolf earlier, right? Yeah. It takes a werewolf mutagen. And, it, and what does it do exactly? Hold on. I messed that up. It helps us kill a, a, a werewolf, right? Significantly increases stamina regeneration during clear moonlight. No, it doesn't. Okay. Increases our stamina regeneration. The oils are what help us kill something. Got it. Okay. Uh, and now for the saddle stuff. We got a new saddle, right? Where is it? Hold up. Hold up. There we go. And I can carry more stuff, right? I think that's what it says. No, it's the same. It's the same amount of load that we can carry. That's weird. Then what's the difference? Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's a superior saddle. I'm sure it's better in some way. Okay, we need to use our Witcher senses to find an opening. Oh, here we go. Free city of Novigrad. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's Reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. The elves occupy slums, but the dwarves practically control financial life in the city. Official word is that Novigrad will remain neutral. Somehow doubt anyone believes that anymore. Yeah. Okay, it sounds like everybody hates mages, to be honest. There's very few people that seem to care at all. And I guess I kind of get it. They've got like special powers that nobody else has. There's probably a lot of people that are 
jealous of that power or scared of that power, but judging by what Klug said, the parcel still. should be around here on the bottom, unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. <laughs> missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Pungent oils. That's... Doesn't sound very fun, but okay. I'm glad you enjoy it, uh, Geralt. Let's see, let's see. Searching, searching, searching. Oh, we found something. What do we got? Some trousers, a pearl, an ingot, diagram, disclare, and short decoction. And we've got more stuff. Is that it? Ah, oh, here we go. That's probably what we needed. I think that's likely it. All right, hello. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. <laughs> I like how he's actually wet. Fish. A rusty anchor in this cutscene. The boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. They've got to be soaked through after all this time. I. Seem to be in your element. <laughs> didn't seem like an, a watertight package. My elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Have you? Okay. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. <laughs> I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, check my inventory, because I got some new pants there. Are they better? Nope. We got some better armor, though. Let's put that on. Oh, and we got a Quenglyph. Do I want to equip that? I guess we don't. We don't care that much. Who cares? Keep moving. But she's saying that we, that she took advantage of us, and I guess that's true, because originally, like uh, I'm, I'm always a little bit confused on the timelines of things, and the lore of things, but it seemed like Geralt was originally with Yennefer, and then he lost his memories, and then he was with Triss, and all lovey-dovey with Triss, and so in that sense. Triss did take advantage of him. She took advantage of the fact that he lost his memories of Yennefer. So I think that's what she's referring to. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Hmm. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. So he's just talking about the eternal fire right now. If I had said, uh, like, you told him you're a sorceress, would that mess everything up? <laughs> Does he not know that she's a sorceress? But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Trace. Or did he just mention about her being a sorceress and I just didn't price. pay attention? We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Okay. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Hmm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. Very bright red hair. So I have to place rat traps around the warehouse. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 
Guess we're just I'll following her around. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. What? <laughs> I mean, is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents. Geralt, we both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Um. Look for crevices and draw things. I wonder. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense. Don't really. I wonder where the evidence of rat activity is. Hmm. I don't see any rat activity. Hmm. Looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Where is this? Hmm. If only I could find evidence of rat activity. Where could it be? <laughs> Can't you just place a rat trap literally anywhere? There's rats everywhere. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon. I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. Okay, so you're saying that there might be something more to uh, him, to, to us trying to get rid of these rats for some reason? A master monster slayer in the world's largest city. Looking for rat shit. Jeez. Yeah. Like, what are we doing here? Like, doing all these weird, odd jobs. Finding a lost package and killing rats? <laughs> she says she had a bunch of stuff to do. What? Why does she need to do this? I think uh, I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Okay, I see. So she, we just need to put traps on the entrances, and then she makes them go all out. And then I guess they won't be able to come back in again because of the traps. Sure. All right, do your thing. Are they gonna go fleeing? Yeah, they're gonna go fleeing. Okay. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound. And... Advisor to Temeria's king. She's talking about, she's referencing Yennefer there. But Yennefer was super suspicious last time we met her. I don't think, I don't think we care. <laughs> I don't think we care for her status. Her status, if anything, is a, uh, it's a, it's a bad point. It's a sore point. I'd rather, I'd rather she not have that status, to be honest. Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. Okay, so they already talked I'm not about going it. Going back to it, it's just—it's one thing to say something; it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing. How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Mm, I don't really know. Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. How many rats are they storing in this place? Well, well. Our lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working. We're working. Can't you see all the rats running the job's out? Job's done. Geralt, those are. I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage. Sorcerers, okay, so he didn't know. Have you? Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're in. Glad I asked for sea. half up front. Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt. If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. 
Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. They, they really... Why are they so confident that three people is gonna do literally anything? I don't get it. I don't get it! Do they not know who I am? I guess nobody understands who Geralt is. Kind of surprising. Okay, stop bonking me, please. Just die. There you go. And not for you, we need to find Brandon. Which hunter sword? You need to find who? Apparently they had very good swords, or very high rarity swords. Let me take a look at that. Um, inventory? It's still weaker than the swords that I've got, though. Magic item. What makes this a magic item? I don't really know. I don't get it, but whatever. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, I'm over encumbered. Darn it. Um, I really need to find some way to get more ability to carry things. Fine, I'll, I'll just drop the. No, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. I want to drop it. I guess we don't need that stuff. Oh, I should probably put away my weapon. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. <laughs> I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. There you go. I like that plan. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. I think she could have handled it. She's got her mage powers. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town. Kareem Tilly. Oniromancer? Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's Dreamer. been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. More rat Another problems? Rat yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. All right. Thanks for everything. See you, Triss. Mm-hmm. See you. How do I find you if I need you? I live in the bits. Head up the hill past the fish market. Stop by. Be seeing you. Be seeing you indeed. Okay. So we've uh, we've uh, reunited with Triss, however briefly. That's pretty cool. Ah! Okay. Um... While I'm here, I think I yeah, there's a shop over here. Let me sell some of my stuff again. I'm just always on the brink of being over encumbered. Wait, who am I? Where's the actual merchant? Hello? There we go. Welcome. What have you got there? Okay. Yeah, so let me sell anything that is not that useful. The problem is I've, I just got so much stuff that requires a higher level than I am. Generally level 11. So I just can't get rid of it. Because it could be useful later on. Kind of unfortunate, but it's alright. Yeah, see, even after selling all the stuff that I'm not using, I'm still got so much weight and I don't know where it's even coming from. It can't be all from these weapons, right? Two and a half, three. 
Is it really just the armor? Four, one, two. Even even if you add up all this stuff together, it's not a large enough value. Okay, it's gotta be these things, because these are two pounds each and you have 20 of them. Broadhead bolt. Required level 15. And they weigh two pounds each, but I can't sell them. Why can't I sell them? All right, I need to find a place where I can sell these particular items because these are ridiculously heavy. It doesn't even tell me how much they sell for. All right, that's my problem then. I'm carrying a bunch of bolts that weigh an absurd amount. So long. Good to know. Well, maybe I can sell them to the uh, armorer person over here. Does he buy weaponry? What do you? No, he doesn't either. I don't get it then. I could get a better crossbow. Do I care about that? Not really. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I'll just uh, repair what I've got. And then we'll be on our way. So long. I need a I I need to find somebody I can sell all that stuff to. Otherwise I'm just gonna have to drop it all on the ground. Because that's um that's the majority of my equip weight. Or my carry weight. In short, who kisses your ass today will fight it tomorrow. Okay, here's the dreamer's house, I guess. Just passing by. I don't know what that even means. Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. I don't know what those de Jonkiers even city, means. I now own its largest pen. Okay. They made a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareem is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Dreaming the home's history? What does that even mean? Why do you need to know the house's history? Are you a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be Okay, so this dreamer, can they, like, see the past? Is that what they do? Like, they can see a dream of what happened? What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Sounds like you just got a homeless person living up there. <laughs> I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. All right, this guy seems pretty nice. Sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. I <laughs> know it's for uh, ones for humans, ones for monsters. Oh, I hear something. I hear the laughing. I'm just gonna seal. What I'm, what are certainly perfectly good dumplings in this place that looks like it was not touched in years. I have some year-old dumplings. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it. Huh? Oh. Uh, I don't know if I'll go down there yet. What the heck is going on here? Stop. Ah! Uh, why are you grabbing the axe? You're grabbing the silver sword. Wake up. Wake up. 
What is happening? Where'd that thing go? The doll. The attic. The doll, the attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Why please. is she worried about... Why is there a... Why is she worried about someone spilling a... Something with blood in it? A lot of cow's milk everywhere. Stop. Go away. Don't do anything. Leave it. Way to the next room is blocked. Well, I'm sure we can break it down. Let me just steal all your stuff. I need all the food at all times. Okay, break it. No? Oh, actually, I know what I need to do. Arg. There we go. That's the way to do it. Put up a shield just in case. I'm so glad that the alchemy ingredients don't count towards your weight, by the way. That would be super annoying. Okay, I'll grab that in a second. There we go. Ragdoll. Doll in the attic. Well, I got the doll in the attic. I think that's what she told me to do. What happened? Some weird stuff's going on in here. This drawing of a crib? Examine drawing? A paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. I need to put the doll in the crib, maybe? There's a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're thinking along the same lines, Geralt. Even though it makes absolutely no sense, my mind immediately went to that. Because that's the kind of no sense that this kind of thing makes. It makes sense in the no making sense kind of way. I guess we're. Go away. <laughs> I guess we're. <laughs> Unless we're playing a game with this child right now, huh? Finding an oven. All right, so we already went up there, so that's probably not where we need to go. I'm assuming it's on the first floor that we need to go. Uh, or maybe it's down below. Check. Oh, there it is. Is this? Was something like cremated in here or something? Maybe that child? Boo! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. <laughs> Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? Wouldn't do that anymore. Is this another godkin Sarah. or god? Might scare someone something so bad, or other. What are they? Godling. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing <laughs> is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Mm. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? <laughs> because we're a witcher. If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rings. Why do you live in a haunted house? Probably safer here. I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. 
make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty, so I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Mm, guess I'll have to throw you out then. <laughs> Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I feel a little bit bad for the banker, though. The banker was a pretty nice person letting us in here. I was kind of tempted to, <laughs> I was kind of tempted to just throw her out, but I think it's uh, I think it's fine for a godling to just I don't know have a place in this city since there's so few of them left. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods, horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. <laughs> Angry furniture that wished to devour me. It's fine, don't worry about it. Foolish. But in the dream, well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. All right. Okay, so it seems like she's going to help us. So yeah, she was supposed to find out the history of this place through her dreams. Exactly as I thought. So she's gonna try to find out whether Sirius was here through dreams? I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Hmm. Do we wanna do we wanna tattle on the on the on the child? I don't think so. I mean I do I am curious what would happen. Uh but I think that would be too mean. I do feel bad for this guy buying this house and not being able to move into it. Or maybe he'll just be like, okay, I guess it's haunted. I guess I'm going to be live there anyways or something. Or going to still use it anyways. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid. Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Mm, yeah, it sounds like you got scammed. I mean, the person who sold it to you should have known about its problems as well. Knew, knew that it was, or thought that it was haunted. But <laughs> this is why you do your due diligence when buying, a, when buying a place. You don't buy it sight unseen. And not unless you're an investor with more money than sense. And it sounds like he does not have more money. Uh, he doesn't have enough money to make that kind of thing work. Just randomly buying stuff without worrying about what happens afterwards. Alright, but before we go in there, uh, I think I'm gonna save right here. I feel like just based on, <laughs> based on her outfit and also based on the fact that she told us to come to her room, I feel like... The next time, uh, I, I'm gonna end things here, but I feel like the next time I start this game and we go in there, I feel like she's probably gonna be naked or something like that. <laughs> just, just a guess, just a guess based on this game and the way that she was acting. 
and how she wanted to repay us. Seems kind of likely. So I feel like I'm gonna have an editing hell next time. I'll stop right now before I get there. Um, I'm glad to be in this big city. I'm glad to be in a place with some cool boats uh, that just looks different from anything else. It's got houses in buildings and people everywhere. I do wish, I still still wish, that you could interact with these people in a more- captain of this ship? Looking at her. Oh. I, her. I was gonna say, I wish you could interact with more people, but I guess I can interact with this person, but I know why, because they're, I'm gonna ask them if I can go sail to Svragorad or wherever it was that we needed to go, right? Uh, Skellig. Yeah, Skellig is the one, right? Right? That's why that's why this is that's why that's this right. dialogue's happening. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. <laughs> that's, that's that's totally fine. Farewell. Yeah, farewell. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not ready for that yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the eternal fire. Eternal fire is so great. Yeah, that's another thing. So there's so many there's a lot of factions going on right now. And it is kinda hard to keep them straight. But as far as I know, we got Radovid in the north, we got um the um the black ones what were they called again uh the 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 N N Nilf guardians in the south and then they're converging on novigrad which is this place which has the eternal fire here and that's their own separate faction but it seems like novigrad is like allying themselves with the eternal fire because both of them don't like witches whereas whereas like um the Nilf guardians they they're fine with witch witchcraft and stuff like that, but they use it for their own ends. Hmm. It doesn't seem very smart. It doesn't seem very smart that the... Like, for Radvid or the Eternal Fire to... Be so against witches in witchcraft when it's so powerful and they could use it better to their own ends, like the uh, Nilf Guardians are. But I can also understand that the common people probably mostly do not like witchcraft and monsters and all that kind of stuff. So they probably get more popular support by opposing witches and burning witches at the stake and stuff like that. So I understand why they do it. It's just still, but it, but it still, it still feels, <laughs> obviously it still feels bad that they're going around burning witches and, and hunting people that are innocent. Uh... It makes you it makes you side more with the Nilf Guardians who aren't doing that kind of thing, but Nilf Guardians also are not <laughs> are not good guys either. So everyone's everyone's working for their own ends. Everything is very gray in this universe. Is what I'm trying to say. It's all very gray. There's no good or bad people really. <laughs> There's just a bunch of people. Even Triss, who seemed very nice, used us for her own ends. She tricked us when we lost our memory. Yennefer is also trying to manipulate us and is doing her own thing. Everyone's manipulating us, basically. Everyone's doing their own th That's why I don't trust anybody. That's why I released the ancient evil and put them in a horse. Because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who else to trust. I, didn't, I wasn't going to trust the crones. I wasn't going to trust the old lady that I didn't know was the Baron's wife. Like, I didn't, I didn't know anything. So, yeah. That's, that's how things are going right now. Basically... I don't trust anybody. All these factions are out for themselves. Uh, all the factions are, are bad in their own way. I don't know which one of them is the lesser of the evils, but hopefully I'll figure it out as I continue to go on. And uh, hopefully my editing job isn't going to be too painful next <laughs> next time I start this game. I think that's all, uh, I think that's mostly all I got to say. Um, obviously I'm going to try to invest in different, <laughs> In different skills now, I'm gonna try to move away from the signs, which are just so unreliable to me right now. I don't know if any. I think I think that's that's kind of it, right? Is there is there anything else for me to say? I need to find more of those stones that give me perk points. But yeah, great great to be in a new city. Great to be in a new place. Looking forward to everything that comes afterwards, including going on that boat to. Wherever it is we're going next, Skellig, and there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to this game. It's a big game, but it's a fun game, and uh, I've been enjoying the ride. That's all I got to say. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe if you're new. 
like the videos if you like them, dislike them if you dislike them for some reason. I don't know why you're watching this if you dislike it, but if you did, go ahead and dislike the video. Um, like I said before, we're like we're massively ahead on Patreon if you care about that at all. And you can join my Discord also. I have a Discord link in the description. It's not very active right now, but anytime I have like updates on my streaming, if I ever, I do, I occasionally do streams. So if I do one, it'll be posted in there first. Um, and that's all I got to say, I think. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.